as a church or people who are in the church, we're always seeking for something greater in the church, as in positions, titles, um, people to know us, more followers, more this, more that. And so today, I have been sick. I just got over COVID. I've been sick for a few days with COVID. I've been off work and it really whooped me. Like I had COVID two years ago and it felt the same way. Like I knew I had it. I was like, oh my God, I, I must have COVID. So today was the first day I actually felt better and feel like myself, even though I'm still a little congested, but I want to come on and do a video because no matter like what we go through god is always dealing with us like um no matter what i go through I, i'm still seeking god i'm still seeking for revelation i'm still seeking for an understanding of his word and so even on my sick time you know i'm seeking for answers and i'm trying to always hear god in whatever you know we do i stay connected you know with the body because my church family with the body because we do uh prayer calls and bible study calls uh in the morning and at night so i get on some of those calls now some days i did not get on because i was just really not feeling good and sometimes we have to take time for ourselves like we have to take time and, and recover god knows what we need you know even even though even when we were going through this i was like lord i was just all for the snow days now this i have to use my time and all this and it's like i had to repent because i'm like okay god you know what's best for me you know what i need you know you know you can see what i can't see you know you know what i don't know and so I put my trust in him. And that is what God wants to do this year. He wants us to trust him, pull on him. And if it is a time that we should trust him, it's now. It's now. It's now. And it's to trust him every day to endure to the end, you know. And so that that's my thing. I see myself growing in my faith. I see myself farther than I was last year at this time. It's like God is taking me on another level and he's doing it through trials. He's doing it through tests. He's doing it through suffering. You know, we are, we're looking for the next level to be like, you know, so great, you know, and, and beautiful. But the next level is, can you go through the next thing that I'm going to take you through? Can you weather the storm? You know, will you not throw in the towel? Will you make it to the end? Will you trust me to the end? And that's what God is saying for a lot of us. But that's not what I want to talk about. As I'm, you know, down and out. <laughs> I say down, but not out. Down, but not out. As I'm down, but not out. You know, I'm always meditating on something and on the word and just different things in this whole walk. And I'm like, Lord, what are we missing as a church? Like, what, what, what is this all about? What is this walk all about? And God has always dealt with me on my journey uh, from the beginning since I first believed to now. Like, it's always been the same thing that he pretty much deals with me about. It's like, and that's my passion like God has made me a very compassionate person and so I so as I'm seeking God about you know just what what is this all about like like this walk because we make it so hard we make it so uh military we make it so difficult and stressful you know when it shouldn't be like that like God is a God of love and peace kindness and all of that uh it's not that hard as we make it you know we put too much on it into it you know and all god wants us to do is trust him all god wants us to do is love him so it takes me to a story in the bible a parable that i was reading and i was like oh my god okay yes this is it this is it this is it you know how you find that this is it moment this is it you know because as a church or people who are in the church we're always seeking for something greater in the church as in positions titles you know a, a, a better rep uh, reputation um we're always uh seeking for something higher you know more um people to know us more followers more this more that you know we're always seeking for more of something and we feel like once we get that that's what god wants us to be you know and we forget about the things that god really requires from us and what he really wants from us we can get so caught up in oh you know i want to be on i want to sing i want to i want to usher i want to preach i want to pray you know i want to uh put on programs i want to emcee 
see. I want to, uh, you know, all these kind of things in the ministry that we seek to be a part of. Like, you know, I'm, I'm going out for the youth pastor or, you know, I want to be a youth leader. I want to be a praise team leader. All these things. And we feel like once we are in those positions, then, you know, we're there. And as long as everybody knows our name and who we are we feel like we're there but you know i'm like lord it's something we're missing and so i go to luke chapter 10 and this is the parable of the good samaritan and this is um jesus giving the a parable and just notice i'm not gonna read like all of it but it, this is it's starting at verse 25 and it stops at verse 37 so luke chapter 10 verse 25 and this is a lawyer he comes to jesus and he asks him how can we inherit in eternal life and jesus said well what does your law say well i mean what do you read what have you read about it like what does your law say and he says um that we should love the lord your god with all of your heart with all of your soul and with all of your strength and with all of your mind and your neighbors as yourself and jesus said to him you've answered rightly do this and you will live just that first little part i'm like so and you know because in another um part he tells us the greatest commandments are to love God with all of your heart, mind, and your soul, and to love your neighbor as yourself. Those are the two greatest commandments. And then over here, he's telling the, the this lawyer the same thing. Like, if you do that, if you can do that, you will live. So it goes a little deeper than that, but not really deep that we can't get it. So it goes a little deeper. So to justify himself, the lawyer, to justify himself, he goes on to ask, well, who is my neighbor? Like, because... I, we're supposed to love our neighbor but who is our neighbor because i'm loving my family you know i'm loving my pastor and his wife and i'm loving you know the the preachers at my church and i'm loving you know my mom and my dad so yeah my kids i'm loving my kids you know those are my neighbors and like jesus just breaks it all the way down i love how he did this this is so awesome so he goes on to say he goes on to give the parable and what he did was uh he said that it was a certain man and this man was wounded he was without clothes he was beaten everything these thieves came and took everything from him he had nothing he had nothing he was wounded and he was hurt okay so then a priest comes back a priest comes back see him see his condition and looks at him and keeps going and then a levite came sees his condition looks at him and keeps going and then a Samaritan came. Now notice how Jesus uh, used a priest and a Levite. These two positions in the Old Testament were people who um, took care of God's the temple. They could took care of the things of God and the people of God. They made sure everything was good and straight. And so notice how he used those two. And that, that's, imp that's very, very important because it doesn't matter who you are. Some people would not get it. You know, some people are just about their titles, you know, in their positions. But then the Samaritan came along, took this person, see this person, took him, cleaned his wounds, you know, fixed them all up, put him in what we would say is a hotel, put him in a hotel, and he took care of him. And then Jesus said, that is your neighbor. So who is your neighbor? Your neighbor is the person that needs help. You know, I notice how we 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 can we can uh, bless people come and have birthdays and all these celebrations and we get together and we bless them. But we have somebody right next to us that is struggling, that does not have anything. And we we don't put together nothing to help these people. And that is our neighbor. And God is, a, is holding us accountable for that. I, I'm telling you, I cannot sleep at night thinking about how we miss opportunities to bless people like we'll bless a prophet that come and we'll pour out all of our money to them but then we have a person that's sitting right next to us that has nowhere to lay their head and we look over them and we tell them just pray about it and and, and it's going to be all right you know it was a, a, a past 
passage in the Bible with where it said like we don't like tell somebody that's hungry like go pray and God will give you food. No, we give them food. You know, whatever God gives to us, we share with other people, especially those who need it because that is our neighbor. And through this walk on this journey, like we're going to come in contact with people who really need us, that people who really need some help, you know, and, you know, sometimes like I feel like this world sets us up where it's so hard to um, help other people because it's so hard to live. Like even with me being a single woman, like just trying to take care of the things that I take care of, it is a like every day. It's something, but thank God, God meets all of my needs, and I thank God for every day when I'm laying in my in my home. I always say, Lord, thank you for a warm place, like um, and people you put around me to bless me, to pour into me, to help me. I really thank God for it because this this it is hard out here, but it's some people out there that has more than enough, you know, more than enough, and we have to be careful because anytime God. Uh, opens up a door for us to be a blessing that is a blessing like we should run to that and Jesus talked about uh in Matthew how he said you know when I was hungry you fed me when I was thirsty you gave me a drink when I was um in prison you came to see about me when I was naked you clothed me you know and we got to remember like that is very important he said uh, when you do those things because you did those things come receive your inheritance prepare for you since the beginning that's really a beautiful thing and so we can't we can't um we can't get this walk twisted you know it's it's really simple if we open up our eyes and we see we, we can't get uh all focused about certain things that don't matter or certain things that is not as important you can bless anybody that you want to bless but don't forget about your neighbor, the one that's in need, the one that's sick, the one that's naked, the one that's wounded. Don't forget about that person because God will put that person in your life for a certain reason to see what you're going to do. And if you want to inherit blessings, that is how you do it. And uh, Proverbs, it says to uh, the way to give to God is to give to the poor. Don't forget about the poor. Don't forget about those. He made uh, people put people in certain situations to show the name person who we are we say we're big we say we're powerful and we anointed but we can't help the person that's next door to us and that's something to say about us you know and I, I don't want to be in that place so I'm seeking God you know for guidance and I thank God for his revelation he's given me already you know because I don't want to be that person that's stuck on a title or stuck on my abilities um, that and gifts that God has given me, but rather use them to really, really, really make a difference. You know, at the end of the day, it's going to be about, you know, how we serve and how we serve others. And a lot of us can't even get along with each other. A lot of us are jealous of each other. A lot of us just can't stand the sight of each other and we we don't even want a fellowship together but um god wants us to come together as a body in this hour so when we start seeking god we're really looking at the next person like how can i serve the next person next to me like how can i be a blessing like not all the time i have money to give a person next to me but i can encourage you i can pray for you i can show you you know lead you in the direction that you need to go so i just want to share that with y'all today i wasn't really feeling a hundred percent but that was on my heart to share like i hope that in this season 2024 we can be a blessing to one another and we can really see you know where god wants to take us and we can see like that um as we're on this journey we can be obedient to god in everything that we do in everything that we do everywhere that we go we can be obedient to him and hear what he's saying and see what he's showing us so thank y'all for watching this video stay tuned for my next video and make sure you are subscribed to this channel